James had a bucket handle tear of his lateral meniscus. That's a tear where a piece of the meniscus flips into the knee and locks so you can't straighten your knee. A lot of times that'll happen when somebody does a deep flexion maneuver. And so if you crouch down, even just doing a simple activity like getting into the bed or getting into the bathtub, you can tear your meniscus and then you can't straighten it out afterwards. And so that's the type of tear that he had. So we treated this by doing repair. Sometimes you can cut this out and sometimes you can repair it. If you can, it's best to try to repair it, especially in younger patients, because your meniscus is such a critical part of the shock absorbers of your knee. So he had that repair done and he's now five months out, give or take, and I'll let him share his experience. Yes, I had a uh, bucket handle uh, tear and uh, got a repair on that back in uh, November. So it's been about six months now. So before that, about a about a year, I was dealing on a on a, on a torn meniscus, kind of running, jogging, and I was having a what seemed like a popping out of place of my knee. But um, turns out it was the meniscus kind of going over top of it, and uh, um, it, it seemed like something that was just hindering me constantly. Um, couldn't jog or run without my knee kind of popping out and feeling that. So what would happen was is I would be uh, be kind of like running or jogging, and any kind of cut I would make, I would feel like my knee was almost like completely moving over um, where it would get, wouldn't be able to be weight bearing, um, wouldn't be able to not have to go into a pigeon pose essentially and push my knee in every single time. It would happen two to three times a session. Um, and since, and, and that was when I knew something was wrong, when I wasn't able to run, jog, cut, do anything at all. And then after the surgery, I was able to get kind of full range of motion back in my knee, um, be able to strengthen it all the way and, and flexion it, also bring my leg back and get a full range of motion too. And since then, I haven't had that issue at all since it's been, since the surgery. Yeah, I would say that the, uh, the surgery recovery was about, uh, about six weeks before I started to be able to walk on it fine again. Um, and after uh, being able to walk on it, I was able to gain full range of motion, to be able to sit on my heels, get back to stretching and yoga, um, which was awesome. Um, I will say that the, uh, the, the longest of what, of what it took probably was strengthening my hamstring again. So I'm able to do weighted squats and weighted lunges. Um, I'm able to still be able to run. Um, I'm not doing too much change of direction still, just as we work out some of the other kinks within the, uh, within the knee and I strengthen it. Um, but I'm able to jump rope, do some boxing, things like that. So 